Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the AFMAT Long Point Pencil Sharpener. It's model PS09. And I think for those of you, especially artists, you're going to be wanting to check this out. Well, let's take a closer look at this AFMAT pencil sharpener here. Now, I noticed right off the bat that the AFMAT name is kind of applied with a sticker, which, you know, that's fine, but it would be nice if it was actually imprinted on the unit itself. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking unit. Now, this thing here weighs, oh, about a pound. It's actually rated at 0.99 pounds or 448 grams. So it, it's got some substance to it, which is really nice. The size is 102 millimeters by 77 millimeters by 162 millimeters. And for those of you who are into inches, that would be about four inches by three inches by 6.38 inches. But the most important thing is what size pencils does it take? Now you notice that it has an adjustment here two different hole sizes all right and it moves in one direction here apparently because I can't seem to turn it the other way but I can turn it counterclockwise all day long now the rating here is from six millimeter all the way up to 9.8 millimeter and yes you heard me right 9.8 millimeter that should accommodate about every kind of pencil you can imagine that's round. Of course, that means you won't be sticking any carpenter's pencils in here, which are those really wide rectangular shapes. But then again, I don't think virtually any pencil sharpener will take that except that handheld one, but I don't have one of those. Anyway, this unit here has a battery, a lithium battery that is in here. And I imagine that's probably what's in here. We'll open this up more towards the end because it has a little screw, but it shows an arrow here as if you can slide this cover off. So we'll take a look at that. I don't know what that's for, but right now what I'm going to point out is that since this is battery operated, obviously then, and it has a built-in battery, I should say, lithium, that we have to charge it up and that means we're going to have to plug something inside this unit and it comes with this adapter which is really cool a lot of sharpeners will come with the usb cable but it won't come with the charging adapter itself and i'll usually use one that i have in my possession to use such sharpeners such as that but in this case this AFMAT, the PS09, comes with the adapter. But you might go, where's the cable? Here's the cool part. You just open this up and the cable is inside. And you just gently pull it out and you can see right here that it has the USB connector on it. So this is actually built in, you can't unplug this USB adapter from the unit. When you're done, you just put it all back in and put all the cables back in and you are good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this because this battery, excuse me, this sharpener has already been charged up. Now it takes about an hour to charge this up and while it's charging, you're gonna see it blinking like you see here. This one is blinking. I happen to have two of them. And you can see here that you have this blinking light. And so it is charging right now. So I'm just gonna let that charge. But this one is completely charged up. So the light is no longer blinking or anything, which is right here. And it's rated about a uh, hundred uses between charges. So um, check out my hand, look how dirty it is. So you should get plenty of uses out of this before you have to charge it again. Now, I'm going to sharpen a couple of different pencil sizes here so you can see uh, how it sharpens. 
But what is really cool about this also is that it has an adjustment in the back here. And this is your nib adjuster. So you can actually control how long your pencil nib is going to be. Now this thing here has a nib adjustment and it looks like it will go from eight to 25 millimeters in length. And that's what it's rated for, eight to 25 millimeters. And so all the way counterclockwise or to the left, I should say, um, would be the smaller nib. And then to the right is the longer nib. And if you look real closely, it gives you kind of a pictorial look of that. You, if you go this way, you'll notice that the nib is now short, but then as you go to the left here, it is now very long. Okay, so I'll try it in the very short and then work my way up. And I'm gonna first start with a basic pencil. So again, this only turns counterclockwise and I'm gonna turn it here and it snaps into place. That's when you know you're done turning it. And let's grab ourselves a regular pencil. Here's a regular pencil. Now it's already sharpened. And what I technically do, I have this special tool. And this special tool allows me to, oh yes, take the old point off so that we can demonstrate how these pencil sharpeners work. Now, did you notice that it stopped sharpening when it was done? So you don't have to keep checking it, to see if it's finished, just leave it in there and you don't have to press hard. And when it's done, it will stop automatically. Now, if you'll notice, it made this very short nib and it has this really flat top point here. So that's the shortest setting. Now, if I was to take it up, I'm gonna take it up to the longest setting here. Just go straight to the, to the top and I'm gonna put it back in again. And now you can see that it makes this super long point here. Okay, now the question about nibs. Um, my understanding of a nib of a pencil is the part that writes with, and that has to be this graphite here, this graphite that is exposed. And they rate this to be able to sharpen from eight to 25 millimeters for the nib. Well, on this small pencil, that nib is maxed out at about nine millimeters. I got about nine millimeters on that nib. So here we have a nine millimeter nib. So the question would be then, can we get to 25 millimeters as rated? Well, let's go over to the larger size hole here that can sharpen uh, pencils up to 9.6 millimeter, 9.8 millimeters in diameter. This is a nine millimeter diameter pencil. It's a big old fat uh, magnum pencil here. And I'm gonna sharpen this at the maximum nib setting here on the back. And let's take a look at what we end up with. That's telling me that it's done sharpening. And now take a look at that whopping nibber right there. That is really, wow. That is a long, long point, folks. 
And that's why I was excited to review this sharpener. But that's still not going to be 25 millimeters, I'm afraid. That is going to be around... And I'm reading here 17 millimeters. That's a 17 millimeter nib on that one right there. So I've gone from eight to 17 millimeters, not 25. So I don't know what pencil is gonna do a 25, but so far I've just done a fat pencil that's nine millimeters in diameter. And it ends up with that 17 millimeter nib on the biggest setting here. And then this one here was nine millimeter nib on the maximum setting. But I'm gonna use this little fat baby here. This is a monster golden bear pencil. Look at the size of that. Compare it to a regular size pencil. So this thing should be able to handle my monster size pencil. Let's find out. Okay, that's the sound. I want to hear it start speeding up at the end, then stop. If it doesn't do that, then I don't think it's done. Take a look at that point. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Perfect sharpen all the way around. And again, I'm going to use my caliber here and see if I can figure out how long that particular nib is. And it comes out to this one here is 16. That's about right. That's 16. Yep. So that's a 16 millimeter nib right there. That was about a 17 millimeter nib right there. And you can definitely see that slight one millimeter difference there. See, if you look real closely, there is a slight one millimeter difference between the two. So you got 17, 16. They're both very, very big pencils As you can see they look like they're pretty much in the same ballpark well hey I can tell you for sure <laughs> just use my caliper all right so this one here is reading oh interesting okay so this one here is reading a, about nine and a half millimeter dimension. And this one here is rated at nine. And yep, sure enough, it is nine. So this one is actually a little bit, it's a half a millimeter uh, wider than this one. And yet this one came out with, with one millimeter longer nib on it. So anyway, you could see that it just does a fantastic job of making these points super long. Just over 14 millimeters on one side and the other side a little less because the graphite is not as centered in this pencil here. In order to get the longer, the longer um, nib is the thickness of the core itself. So the thin core pencil such as this one and this one here, these, these two on the right, these have a thinner core. If you take a look at that, the cores have less diameter than this Ticonderoga. This Ticonderoga has a thicker, we should stay in focus there, has a thicker core. And this is why these other ones here are so much longer nibbed and it has nothing to do with the diameter of the pencil but the diameter of the core. And that is why this 
thicker pencil here does not have a length of the nib as long as this one because the magnum although it'd be very hard to tell the magnum actually has a slightly thicker core than the golden bear jumbo and that was just enough to give it that very tiny half millimeter leap see it's so tiny you can barely see it with your own eyeballs but this is half a millimeter longer so there you go we learned something together okay i was not aware of that until now and the help of this caliper so if you want a long point and you want to be able to put a long point on the big diameter pencils as well as the standard diameter pencils and again, we're talking about uh, pencils that range from 6 millimeter to 9.8 millimeter. This is your baby right here to do the job. And another thing, too, that I didn't bring out, but I'm going to bring out right now, is that this thing here has an automatic broken lead injection. So if it breaks, if you break the tip, it will eject that. Now, if it doesn't eject it immediately, just take another pencil and press hard into it and it will force it out okay I just brought a paper plate over here because I'm gonna go ahead and just empty it out here and this is how you do it this thing has to slide up so I just and you'll see it has a little arrow there kind of brings that to your attention so I'm gonna slide it with I'm gonna hold it like this seems to be the easiest way and just slide that up And then it just stops sliding up at that point. And then you empty it out. Okay, and so it, you can see the insides right there. The helix blade. Now this unit is not supposed to work with this thing open. So let's verify that while it's open. Grab another pencil here. And let me adjust this to the smaller one again. Okay, nothing happens. Now when this door closed, it should work. And as you saw, it came on as soon as I closed it. So you can't operate this with this door open. And here's the result of that pencil. And you can see that is a really, really nice long point. So if you really like a long point, this pencil sharpener is going to give you long points. I did say that by the end of this video, we would take a look at what's inside of here. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to pull out my trusty little jeweler set here, grab a Phillips screwdriver. That will fit that little screw and let's open this up and see what we find inside and there it is oh and this thing doesn't come off it opens but there is a 2000 mah lithium battery in here and now here's another thing folks that i have to give my kudos to the folks um who put this thing together is that my other pencil sharpeners such as this one right here has a lithium battery in it as well as others but they're soldered in and they're not meant to ever be replaced you can replace this battery well, look at that it comes out like a regular battery and you can see right here that it has the compartment shows you which direction the spring everything this is awesome and let me show you why spare batteries of this sort that I use for flashlights and stuff and you can get batteries at higher rating like this one here is a 4200 mAh and it will work in here they're all they're all compatible size wise and the, the ones with the higher rating are simply going to provide you with longer uh, charge capacity because 
The voltage in all these are rated the same at 3.7 volts for the most part. This one here says 4.2 and 2.75 discharge, blah, blah, blah. And this is a 5800 MAA. So anyway, you can buy those separately. This is really awesome, guys. I mean, I am so serious about this. I am happy to see that um, you can change this out because one of my sharpeners, the battery went dead on me and um, I just, I soldered it in, a new battery and everything, but then I figured, you know what? This is junk and I threw it away. So you don't have to throw this sharpener away because this one here is made to be friendly there you go that's the AFMAT it's the model PS09 the link to get this sharpener is down in the description below and uh, I'm gonna have to give this sharpener my most definite two thumbs up well hey I sure hope that you like this review of the PS09 AFMAT long point sharpener and if so, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I will see you in the next video.